Possible Galaxy S4 benchmarks leaked. The countdown to Windows Phone 7.8 apparently begins, and a UK study plans to prove that phones shouldn't be sold with chargers. I'm Jaime Rivera, and what, am I supposed to stick my finger now into the wall outlet? This is Pocket Out Daily. Yes, the Galaxy S4 is one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, and even though we still don't know what to expect, some benchmarks have already made the public. This device will be apparently called the GTI 9500, sport the Exynos 5 octa processor that we talked about at CES, and also be clocked at 1800 GHz. But what makes these news even more impressive is the fact that there apparently is a GTI 9400 that will be rocking the Tizen platform. Could we expect two devices? And for all of you 9 remaining Windows Phone 7.5 users out there, I hope that the wait for Windows Phone 7.8 after so many months hasn't been so boring. According to O2UK, they've just tweeted that the upgrade will be available before January ends, at least for the Nokia Lumia 800. Now, even though the Nokia Lumia 800 is a legacy device, there are devices that are much older that have no mention as to when they'll be getting the upgrade, but what did you expect from Microsoft anyways? And speaking of Windows phones, for all of you waiting for a Windows Phone 8 device on the Sprint network, apparently HTC is already prepping to bring a device to the network very soon. Apparently this device will bring the One S V design that we already know in Android, which is actually both a good and a bad thing. The One S V is a very nice device, but sadly, it's a mid-tier device as well, so let's see what Sprint brings to the Windows Phone platform soon. Now, Rem has taken so long to bring their BlackBerry 10 platform to the market that even the most die-hard of enthusiasts are actually leaving the platform. But that said, I actually did have a chance to play with a BB10 Dev Alpha device at CES, and I will tell you there are some really cool features coming out here. And if you're interested, well, Verizon is apparently going to be the first carrier to use or bring the platform to the market, or at least the US market for that sense. And well, it does seem that the leaks show that the platform will be running on schedule, though we don't know what that schedule is, but hopefully the guys at RIM do know and hopefully it will be as good as I had the chance to test. And finally, for the annoying news of the day, you remember that recently, a couple of months ago, HTC and O2 in the UK ran this pilot program where they removed chargers from the boxes of the smartphones that they sold from HTC because they wanted to prove to the market that anybody could use the old chargers from their old devices and not necessarily need a new charger. Well, the results are in and apparently 75% of the users that bought an HTC smartphone didn't actually want to buy the replacement charger, which was actually being sold at cost. And when it makes you wonder if they actually sold as many HTC devices as they sold iPhones. But that leads me to the question of the day. What do you feel about this pilot program? Do you agree that they sell you a device without a charger? I mean, I seriously do need my charger and I don't consider it fair that these companies want to do this just because they want to save a couple of bucks, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you Monday.